I want to give Kimberly the benefit of the doubt, but with her, nothing is ever simple. Well, what do you think she wants? I don't know. If she has an ulterior motive for being if. here. If she has an ulterior motive, I have no idea what it is. But with Kim, it could be anything. You know what Kim's agenda is, Dad, but you're on it. I mean, clearly she wants another shot at you. Would that be so awful? I thought you hated gold diggers, or have you and Rex kissed and made up? Well, thanks to Rex, there's no longer any gold to dig. You know, Dad, that's what makes Kim's sudden appearance here even more suspicious. But you know what? Luckily, you can't go out and play because you're under house arrest and recovering from a heart transplant. It means that I have a lot of time on my hands. To focus on recovery. Why don't we leave romance in the future? Like far, far. Kim the is a friend, and she's not going anywhere. Fine. Then maybe, maybe I should leave because there is no way I'm sticking around if I have to deal with that bitch on a daily basis. This bitch thinks that it's about time. You can pack your knives and leave, and we'll all be better off for it. It's not. Natalie, you keep on threatening to leave, but you just don't go. So if I'm so difficult to live with, why don't you go somewhere else? <laughs> it's interesting that when I say bitch, you automatically assume I'm talking about you. Oh, you weren't. Not this time. Natalie. But you know what? Not everything is about you, Jess. So if you weren't talking about me, Kim then... Andrews. But you know what? If it's too hard for you to live in this house knowing that I'm not spending every waking moment trying to figure out how to hurt you, Natalie. then by all means, you can move out yourself. All right, stop. You are making your father, the heart patient, very angry. I'm sorry, Dad. What is she talking about? Kimberly paid us a visit. To lay the groundwork to make another play for Dad, but I gave her the heave-ho. Where do you get off doing that? Just when I think you can't get any more petty and selfish... I was protecting our father. From what, Natalie? There's nothing left to steal. You don't like her either. It doesn't matter whether I like her. Dad does. Uh, That's all that matters. Uh, Why do you feel the need to meddle in everybody else's relationships? Do you want to date Kim? Is that the thing here? Ah, uh, this needs to stop right now. Do you forget how much Kim hurt Dad last year? I mean, instead of sticking around and working out the problems like couples that love each other are supposed to do, she just walked out on him. Well, now we know she must have had a reason. Dad waited for her. He searched for her. Kim had plenty of time to come to her senses. Or come clean. Maybe, but she didn't. And now she just waltzes back into his life and expects everything to go back the way it was. That's not what happened, Natalie. Too damn know. late, Dad, okay? Kim only has herself to blame. Just like the rest of us. We all just need to move on. Like you have with Brody. Like you have with Ford. Brody and I are family. And you can cry about it all you want. Nothing will change that. Natalie, Ford and I are not together. You want to know why? Because I have self-respect, a quality that you, the town tramp, are sorely missing. Would you like to sorely be missing a few teeth? All right, Ooh. stop it. You're both acting like spoiled brats. Grow up. You know what, Dad? You're absolutely right. Enough is enough. Oh, I'll get it. Hello? Hey, Jessica, it's Blair's Todd there? No, actually, he just left. Really? Where, do you know where he went? I'm sorry, I don't. He, um, he said he had some business to attend to. What's up, Natalie? Whatever you're thinking of doing, just, why don't we just sit just down sec. and talk about it? You mean Jess. Oh, God. What's going on now? Look, uh, Brody, I hope this is okay with you, but I'd like to call the real estate broker and snatch up that apartment that we saw the other day. Fine by me, but I thought you wanted to sleep on it. Yeah, 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 I, uh, I did. But I thought about it, and you know what? It's going to be a perfect place for us to raise our family. And you know what? I'm not going to get any rest until I get the hell out of here. I'm going to go upstairs and pack. And, uh, tomorrow there'll be two less Buchanans in this house. Natalie, please. Feel free to give Kim my room. So what? Is it asking too much to have my daughters to peacefully coexist? Yes. Yes, it is. She's your sister. You could at least make the effort. Oh, okay, like you do with Uncle Bo. I know that I'm not one to talk. Thanks, Dad. Which is precisely why I will. 
I don't want my daughters to end up the way Bo and I have. Well, it's too late. Dad, this has been a long time coming. Kind of like your reunion with Kim, huh? There is no reunion. Oh, come on. If Natalie and I agree on one thing, it's that she wants you back. Why else would she be here, right? I wish I knew. Well, tell me something, Liam. How are your mom and dad supposed to pack for the big move tomorrow if you keep waking up and giving them grief? Hmm? <laughs> All right. That's right. Our own place. It's going to make us feel even more like a family. So we can't let anyone mess with it. Like Victor Lord Jr. He's a bad guy, Liam. He's threatening to go to John to tell him the truth. That I'm not really your father. John is. I'm not kidding. Yeah. That's why I went over to Victor's office and asked him to keep quiet. I thought it wouldn't be a problem, yeah. You know? He hates John McBain. He doesn't think he deserves to have a son. Huh? Yeah, especially not a son like you. When I went over there, I kind of... I messed up. Huh? Yeah. I lost my cool with Victor. I threatened him. If you knew what that meant, you'd be upset with me. I crossed the line. Played the Navy SEAL card. Warned him I could make someone disappear if I had to. I couldn't believe the words were coming out of my mouth, but I didn't know what else to do. He was provoking me. It was like he was daring me to stop him. I can't let him tell John the truth, Liam. I can't lose him. Who's gunning for